In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called graphing a piecewise defined function, problem type three. We're given f of x and we're asked to graph it and determine whether or not it is continuous. So to graph, I'll start with the top portion, which I recognize as having a parabola shape. And since it has this plus 10, then I know the vertex is going to be at zero, 10. And since it has that negative coefficient, that would make it upside down. So our parabola will be opening downwards. Now, since we only have this part of the piece between the x values of negative 4 and 4, I want to make sure that I'm representing those in pieces correctly. So I'm going to substitute negative 4 into the function, replacing x with a negative 4. We could then simplify. Squaring the negative 4 would be a positive 16, but with the other negative outside, that would make it a minus 16 plus 10, or a minus 6. So I have the point negative 4, negative 6. On our graph, negative 4, negative 6 is here. So I'm going to draw this a little more accurately, knowing that it has this shape. I'm also going to plug in the other endpoint, which is a positive 4. f of a positive 4 would here have me substituting in a 4 to be squared. And again, the 16 becomes negative, so negative 16 plus 10 again gives me the negative 6. So I now have the point 4, negative 6, which makes sense since it should be symmetric. So essentially, this shape. However, looking back, we can see that on the left-hand side, we are inclusive of negative 4 and larger. So our graph would end here. And then on the right-hand side, we have x is less than 4, so not inclusive. On the right-hand side, we would also remove this tip, but then the point would need to be open. So we have now graphed the first part of the piecewise. And we can turn our attention to the second part where x is greater than or equal to 4. That function is f of x equals 6 minus 3x. And I recognize this as linear. And if I reorganize it, just putting the variable term first, then my slope here will be negative 3. And my y-intercept, b, is 6. So I can graph this line as having a y-intercept at 6. The slope of negative 3 I could think of as negative 3 over 1, meaning from here I would go down 3 over 1, repeating down 3 over 1. I can see that they actually do cross out here. This would be my line. However, since we only have this function where x is greater than or equal to 4. Looking at the graph, this would just be to the right of x equals 4. So again, removing everything to the left of 4, we have graph both pieces. And since they connect at the same point, then yes, this is continuous.